Hey guys, in this quick video I want to show you how not to install solar panels. Recently we were asked to remove 10 solar panels from 20 solar panels system because owners doing some remodeling and uh, we need to remove and reinstall those panels back. When we came there I was surprised how creative solar installers sometimes and I just want to share this with you. On this picture we can see that it's metal standing seam roof and usually uh, we need to use S5 clamps uh, designed for standing seam roof. But installer didn't have this and they did use two L foots connected together with a bolt which is holding to standing seam. Uh, which is of course this L foot is not designed for this kind of purpose and uh, then they did use another L foot right here to attach two rails. Then here is Iron Ridge XR 100 rails and uh, uh, when they did use mid clamp here but missing end clamp and uh, over the time because panels might shift during wind or when it's hot or cold this bolt can get loose. If we take a look at this picture we, we see same uh, idea here with the two L foots and third one connecting rails and we're missing end clamp at all here. This panel is, is holding right now on the three points and one of them missing end clamp so it maybe it's gonna fall soon. Then on this picture we can see that this is in phase microinverters IQ6 version and a few microinverters just hanging on the roof and it did happen because um, Looks like installer didn't have a correct iron ridge bolts to connect microinverters to the rail. So they just used self tapping screws and uh, looks like they over torqued them. So half of these uh, bolts were broken. And uh, here's why microinverters just hanging on the roof. Then uh, right here on this picture we can see that we have trunk cable and uh, because it's microinverters we have AC current in those trunk cable and uh, it was connected with a junction box using PV wires. And those connections happening in this place right here, they did use electrical tape. I didn't, uh, I didn't touch this uh, connection, I don't know what is inside, but of course it's not appropriate way to connect trunk cable and junction box. First we need to use in-phase cable to run the junction box and in-phase connectors. So this is safety hazard over the time when water is going to get into this connection it can start leaking AC current onto the rails and onto the roof. Hopefully circuit breaker will trip but um, here's what we have. And if we check this video we can see that this clamp it's holding as of now but uh, it's bent a little bit so it might fall off soon. And uh, here's just connection they did use. And for junction box, same connection here. We didn't open junction box to see what is inside this. But uh, it's iron rich bolt, uh, bolt right here on the L foot uh, holding junction box. And all of those are PV wires carrying 240 AC volts, which is of course cannot be here. And we can see as well that end clamp is missing right here. If you ask an installer to install a system, make sure they do have correct materials. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.